Hey, so now here I have this question number seven or question number seven may be hamare paas choice given thi paper mein. So this is the first choice of question seven. This says at the time of short circuit. Make sure ki aapne questions bohut dhyan se padhe hain exam mein. To short circuit ki baat ho rahi hai question mein. So at the time of short circuit, the electric current in the circuit. What happens to the electric current that increases heavily? So, if you have a closer look on to the options, you can clearly see that option D is the correct answer to this question. So, if you have option D mark, definitely you will get a mark. Zarur milega. Let's have a look on to the second choice. Second choice, question number seven, we have given hai, two bulbs of 100 watt. And 40 watt are connected in series. The current through 100 watt bulb is 1 ampere. See here, this is mentioned to us in the question. The current through the 40 watt bulb will be. Aapko yahan par ye dhyan rakhne ki zarurat hai that in series combination. Ji haan, same current flow karta hai. Resistors ke through, bulbs ke through. So whenever you are combining two electrical appliances in series what is going to happen the same current is going to flow through both of them so agar hamare 100 watt ke bulb mein se 1 ampere ka current flow kar raha hai to 40 watt ke bulb mein se bhi 1 ampere ka current flow karega so which option is the correct option that is option d so answer to this question is option d agar aapne d option ko sahi option mark kiya hai so, this question ke liye aapko one mark zaroor milega. Let's move on to the next question for our discussion. Now, here is question number eight from the chemistry section. The chemical formula of plaster of Paris. Very well known substance in which water of crystallization is present. And what's this chemical formula? If you look at the given options, aap asani se choose kar sakte hai. The correct answer is given in option C. That's why I'm just writing here the correct answer. And agar aapne is option ko choose kiya hai, to definitely one mark aapko milne wala hai. Now, the turn is there for the next question. Now, it's the turn for question number 9. Question number 9 mein kaha gaya hai, in a double displacement reaction, such as the reaction between sodium sulfate solution and barium chloride solution. We have two salts here. जिनके सॉल्यूशंस हमारे पास में हैं, आपको चेक करना है क्या-क्या इनमें से ट्रू है, and on the basis of that we will choose the correct option. If I talk about this reaction, we need to just look at this particular reaction. Let's have a look on that. Here you can clearly see sodium sulfate is reacting with barium chloride. What happens? Barium sulfate is formed, and sodium chloride is formed. If I talk about barium sulfate, that is basically the white colored precipitate which is formed here during the reaction. Let's check the parts A, B, C and D given here. In the first part, it is said exchange of atoms takes place. Is it so? Nahi. Yaha pe exchange of ion hota hai. So basically, we can simply choose exchange of ions takes place. Further, it's a precipitate is produced. Very true. Iske baad hai, an insoluble salt is produced. Yes, barium sulfate, insoluble salt hai, jiska precipitate formed ho hai. Right? So, on the basis of that, if you look at the given options, you can simply say option D is the correct option. And if it is the correct option, you need to just mention there in your answer sheet to get the one mark for this particular question. I hope it is clear. Now, the turn is for next question. 